Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Scorpio weekly money and career reading from July 18th to July 24th, 2022. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week, Scorpio. Okay. Bring all these cards out. Nice. Ten of Cups. Finding balance. Finding harmony. And finding a sense of happiness, Scorpio. Wow. Ten of Cups. Absolutely beautiful. Page of Wands. Something new coming in. Something fresh. Something new. But it, it's all about an excitement. New excitement. Um, enthusiasm. Uh, enthusiasm to push forward on something that truly makes you happy, that truly brings back balance in your life, balance in your in your family life, balance in your um, in your home, um, joy in your home. Um, it's all about making decisions, prioritizing, sorting everything out on something that you have worked hard on. Uh, you're waiting, you you have been waiting. Uh, maybe, yes, it, it feels like you've worked on something hard. You've spent a lot of time and money, invested money maybe on something. And you, there is a decision to make, but maybe you're choosing between two jobs or choosing between two situations trying to figure out, sort it out, and you figure out exactly which one you're going to take or what, what direction you're going to take, but it is something joyful, something happy, um, a new, a newfound energy. It seems like a, a newfound energy. Good for you, Scorpio. Absolutely beautiful. Here you are, Scorpio, finding balance, Finding, finding balance and understanding. Beautiful, beautiful. Ten of Swords. All right. Are you ending a, a cycle? Uh, it is... Oops, let me just put this... this we'll pull a few more cards to see exactly what this Ten of Swords is all about. But right here, it's, it's about that joyful road forward or that joy that decision that really brings brings out brings in positive energy and understanding yes it's a big change scorpio it's it's that rising it's that rising that understanding knowing that knowledge that this is for you that knowledge that you are now reaching the point of almost like the happiness happiness whatever that means for you let me just put these cards back correctly there we go okay um so this page is entering this new cycle with, with vim and vigor, if you still say that, <laughs> exploring. This is a new, this is new. This is a, n learning something new, learning a new skill or just experiencing and exploring new territories, but expanding, right? Learning new and expanding, um, expanding your knowledge. It is really about maybe, maybe going back to school, maybe being mentored, maybe learning new skills, maybe, um, organ, you know, whatever it is, it's organizing yourself and structuring yourself on, on this thing that you've worked on so hard. So I feel like you're stepping up, you're rising up, stepping up the level to this job or business or project, or, you know, or you're finally getting that diploma. You're finally stepping up to the next level 
on the progress of your project, job, business, take it as it resonates, because it's a rebirth. It's, it's rising up to something else, rising up to what you're destined. You're destined to more, something more interesting, something more valuable. It's so much more than you thought, Scorpio. This is a rise to, you know, whatever, you're, you're destined to more. And you're ready now. You're ready to act. You know you can do this. And you know you're building it a different way and you're going on a new trajectory. This is the end of that difficult, difficult moment. Wow, Scorpio, rising up, rising up. And this is new for you. This is a new version of yourself. This is all the new discoveries now. In, now, it doesn't mean this is out of the blue, uh, another, you know, a job out of the blue or something you, you didn't think of and all of a sudden it's a different direction. No, this is something you've built, you've constructed, you've thought out, you've planned for a while and you've been waiting for. But you're at a moment in time where now you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision upon what you have built so far. You're at a point where it's you're you're moving up to the next level. You're moving up to the to to um to something um more important, more organized, more planned. So for example, if you have been working on a job or working on a on a hobby or working on a second job, third job, um, or, or working from home on something on the side, like a side gig. Um, now it feels like that side gig. This is just an example. It doesn't have to be that. Uh, this side gig is sort of becoming major in your life and you are organizing it to make it become the main gig, your main job, your main source, source of finance if that makes sense. But it's it's a big change. Again, a crossroads, right? And you're making decisions. These are decisions that to to choose something specific, to choose to to develop that path or to develop that job or that idea that maybe was, you know, a little less important important a few months ago or, or years ago but it's something you've had and you've been work, working on for a while it's a significant choice significant change and 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 it's you're it, you're on the right path and you're you're almost there Scorpio or you are there you are there but now you're you're rising up to to the next level and you've learned and sort of everything's coming together and now you're 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 able to finally finally put this ten of swords behind whatever it means for you refreshed ready to take on the new ready to step it up and um and and uh, make more money out of this or, or structure uh structure that idea structure that business make it official um, you know, make it a, 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 make it a business, make the hobby a business that, you know, you can, um, make money off something like that. Yes, absolutely. 10 of pentacles, making it official and also money coming in and money, this money coming in is giving you that harmony, that harmony and that joy. 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles in your family. It can be family helping you, right? Organize, helping you finance this um, or reorganizing money around the family, but it's, uh, or whatever family means for you. And, um, and but it's, it's bringing stability to the home, long-term long stability to the home. So you are choosing your options and i think that you you have had several options and you have worked on several jobs or several opportunities in all these months even years of transition you are now embarking on something you feel sure of something almost you chose it or it chose you to dominate your finance your income, right? That's That might become your main source of income now, if that makes sense. Yes, you're moving into calmer waters. Whatever it is that was blocking you or bothering you, 
Yes. Oh my, Scorpio. All right. Here we go. Another tower moment. Well, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. Yes. Tower, 10 of swords, <laughs> five, uh, eight of swords. It's all about you getting out of that, getting out of that situation that has been so difficult the last months and years. But here we are, Scorpio. You're choosing. You're choosing. You're choosing that option. You're choosing that path. You're going into that new energy, whatever it means for you. It's something comforting. It's something, but it is true that you're letting go. You're letting go something. So maybe you're moving countries. Maybe you're completely changing lives. Maybe you're moving back home. Maybe, right? But it is a, another, but this situation here, Scorpio, we've had it um, almost every week. So it's you letting go all these swords are in your mind all your all these swords are your mindset and your mindset is still partially in the difficulties of this whole transition the past months even years and so it is you to understand that it's time it's time or you or you're getting clarity you're really getting clarity now on this path um, you have had clarity, you know, step by step, as I said in the past readings, if you've just stumbled upon this channel, you might, you, you, you might want to, uh, or if you're interested, you can go check out past readings, weeklies or monthlies. Uh, and it, and it, it's about ascending, ascending like the, like the, you know, aircrafts ascending step by step, level by level, level by level structuring and, and understanding what is best for you, choosing that job, choosing that option, choosing to move, choosing to change lives and going to a different country or reinventing yourself in a new career or just developing that hobby you've had for a long time on the side or shifting jobs, you know, making another job your main gig and something like that. But it is a massive, massive, massive change, as you know. And here we are ascending again to the realization of what is important for you, the realization of your next step and what it looks like and what it feels, um, what it has to be and what it must be for you. Is it going back home? Is it um, accepting that new career? Is it accepting that job that's far and you really weren't sure you wanted to move? Is it accepting... Um, that job uh, to go back to school and get that diploma? Is it accepting to start that business and be bold and uh, put yourself out there and do something completely different and reinvent yourself? That is what I mean. All these options have been in your mind. All these situations have been in your mind in finding your trajectory, finding where this was going and um, testing the waters and testing different things to finally understand what corresponds to you and what belongs to you, your path, you know, this next path, what it is all about. And it's everyone is different. Each one has a different path. But it's a massive, again, massive, massive choice in your mind. It doesn't have to be that you're doing everything this, this week, obviously. But there's a moment of clarity here that you've never had before. A moment of clarity, of realization, of reality in front of you that this is what you have to do. Wow, Scorpio. <laughs> For an early morning reading, you are... Uh, this is a uh, heavy reading. I mean, it's not heavy. Oh my, and the Ten of Swords. Yes, it's not a heavy reading. It is you really understanding to get out of that Ten of Swords, right? To get out of that, that it's time and that you now finally understand what is good for you because you're entering this Ten of Cups. Take a moment. Take a moment every time it feels heavy or every time, it's not heavy, it's every time it feels um, important, 
and different and something you must do or you have to do. Yes, finding balance, finding balance and, and having balance in your decisions every time, right? Finding emotional balance. Um, you are, you are both, you know, this situation, let me grab the card that fell. This situation is bringing you, um, mental balance, even though, um, it is, um, a moment where you have to persevere, persevere. Let's see if there are a few more messages that want to come out. Oh, too many cards. In the second deck, Scorpio. I know, and one more tower moment, right? It's it's, And the tower for me, I always say, um, if you've never uh, watched any of my readings, it's not about this massive change always. It's about the realization in your mind, that that spark in your mind that finally makes you realize that there's the change. This is the change, right? It's the moment. It's time. So it can be something someone said, something that happened, uh, anything, you know, it, 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 and it's you. It's the spark in your mind of clarity on your, on your path. Okay. All these. Okay. Let me do this. Got it. Yes, the choices. That's what I was talking out about before. Many choices, many tests, many things you have tried. Good, bad, and now you're really narrowing it down. It's about narrowing it down. And now that final push for that thing that belongs to you, that's important to you, can be going back home. It can be going back closer to family, something important to you, or working with kids, developing something with kids. Whatever it is, is something nostalgic, something you're going back to, going back to a familiar zone, a familiar place, um, back to a company you worked for, back with people you worked with before, or just developing your business back in you know, that city you love so much or that country you love so much, or going back to that project, that business, that, that thing, that career that you've loved so much that you find uh, connected to. Yes, your true values, whatever it is, you're going back to your true values. The lovers is finding alignment in what you believe in in your core values, your core beliefs, and projecting those to the outside world, to whoever it is that you're working with, or just projecting to the universe what who you really are, showing your true self, showing your soul. And that aligns yourself with your soul path right? People see you for who you are. They are not seeing you for who they want you to be. No longer accepting to be that person that other people want you to be. No longer accepting to be pushed around or to be obligated to do it a certain way because it's moral comfort or emotional comfort for the other people whoever it is, if it's in a, a job circumstance, a career circumstance, right? A professional circumstance or even a family circumstance. You are not going to be pushed around anymore. This is you. This is your soul. This, are, this is what you are all about. This is your, you paving your way. Put the swords down. If there are any egos, that's okay. That's okay. There's always ego around. There will always be ego battles no matter what, but you are in control. You're in control of your finances. You're in control of your decisions. This is your way, Scorpio. This is your destiny, Scorpio. And King of Pentacles. So there can be around you um, 
um, you know, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that is there to help you, someone installed in life, someone that is generous, generous with their money, generous with their with their time, someone that won't, it can be a father figure, it can be a family figure, or a friend, or a boss, or a mentor, or someone you've been working with that that is helping you financially or that is guiding you financially, you know, to, to structure or to move forward on this life path, because I really feel like it's a life path, or this is you, Scorpio, finding that financial balance, you know, entering a zone where you have that money to construct, you have that money to, um, to move forward on what you want to, being comfortable financially. All right, let's see, Scorpio, if there's one last message for the road in this beautiful, beautiful reading. It is intense, Scorpio, as usual, <laughs> but it's, it's so important. Massive change, massive, massive change, but something that you've been working on for a while. It's not out of the blue, but you're inching your way to your destiny. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. So yes, so you're inching away to your destiny. You're you're inching yourself away from all those those energies that that weren't for you or that you were um absorbing from other people and you're you're not in that anymore. You're in your own, comfortable in your skin, comfortable with your choices, comfortable with what you are putting forward. And there's money coming in, Scorpio, whatever you're developing. This choice, this massive choice, very important choice in your life um, for your destiny, um, for this thing that you've been waiting for so long is this is you. This is really you. And re you gaining your independence, gaining your financial independence, your mental independence, your um, really your strength is fascinating, Scorpio. Creating, yes, beautiful, understanding, and and creating your world, your world, your future, your dream. I love this. Absolutely love this. Whatever you've been working on, and, and if it was still a side gig a few months ago, or something in your mind, or something not completely developed in your mind, or in the 3D, this is it, Scorpio. This is it. You are reaching that moment of beautiful, beautiful um, understanding of yourself, and accepting of yourself and being in the right place, Scorpio. You're there. You're there. Absolutely amazing reading, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you to each and every one for commenting, sharing your journeys, and pushing me over 15k. Thank you. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for championing this channel and and um, supporting, the, supporting me in my energies in putting these readings out there. So thank you to each and every one of, of you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. That's very important. Let's push it to 20k. Uh, and if you've just stumbled upon this reading and enjoyed it, and felt you connect with it, connected with, with it in somewhat shape or form, please consider subscribing as well. And I will see you soon for the monthlies. Oh my, already. Uh, August monthlies and as well as weeklies uh, next week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, Scorpio. Take care. Bye-bye.